Today we bring you an Occupy Brooklyn TV exclusive interview with Mark Adams. Adams was sentenced to 45 days in jail for charges associated with an action on December 17th of last year. He's the first activist convicted and sentenced to jail time in a group trial for an Occupy Wall Street action. Seven other defendants were sentenced to community service, including Bishop George Packard, Reverend Earl Coopercamp, and comedian Ted Alexandro. Adams was released from Rikers Island Prison Complex on July 16th after serving 29 days in jail. The faith community from around the world, uh, including Bishop Desmond Tutu from South Africa, had commented on the, you know, uh, this, uh, this whole action going back to D17. And it, it, we had a lot of support from the faith community. I mean, we had a bishop go into the park first. Uh, and uh, it's, just, it's just unprecedented that a uh, religious institution decided to press charges uh, on folks who were seeking um, uh, sanctuary. Yes, Trinity says that they uh, support the movement by opening up their uh, public use space, which is Charlotte's Place, uh, and their bathrooms. And um, However, these are things that they are open to public anyways. Uh, it's not that Trinity is going out of their way, or Rector Cooper is going out of his way to uh, support the movement. Uh, to me, supporting the movement would have been to say, hey, we forgive you your trespasses, and, um, you know, uh, this, it's not church, a, ch a church's or an, a religious institution's business to put people in jail. It's not property that they purchased. Uh, I don't even know how, uh, how legitimate it is for, uh, for a church to own millions of dollars worth of property. Uh, and they are the largest real estate uh, holding company in lower Manhattan. Um, and this is a church we're talking about here. However, there is a family in Pennsylvania that has been, uh, uh, is in a dispute, legal dispute with Trinity over the ownership of this, uh, this lot, this Duarte Square lot. Before this, I had never been convicted of a crime, ever. Uh, doing time was difficult. I'm, I'm still dealing with it. Um, you know, emotionally, it just takes time. Um, but, however, it could have been a lot worse if I didn't have the support of people. Um, you know, all these books and mail and just, it's just been, been this outpouring of love and support. So when people ask me what kind of world we're trying to build within Occupy Wall Street, this is the kind of world we're trying to build, a culture of care. Um, and we sometimes, people don't, don't realize that that's what we're trying to do here. And when I went in, it's not like I could hold a sign or rally or march and just, you know, let my grievances be known. Uh, and I knew that nobody would care. Nobody knew me on the inside. Um, I could write all the letters I want with, wanted with uh, communiques, but it wouldn't have helped. Uh, for me personally, drawing inspiration from many other revolutionaries who've come before me and uh, even within the movement, uh, you know, folks like uh, Jack Boyle and, and, and Diego and, and uh, my friend Mallory and, and Shay who have done hunger strikes within Occupy Wall Street, uh, it, was, it was, I knew that I could count on that to, to, let, to, to protest in my way by using my body and to be, let it be known that I, I felt that I should be free at this moment and I'm not. So uh, for me, it, going on a hunger strike was actually a very powerful political tool of protest. Yes, I felt that this is something they couldn't take away from me. They could take away all my belongings, they could take away my signs, they could take away my, uh, my, even, uh, even my rights. Uh, but uh, this is something they couldn't tell me, hey, you can't do this, because I could. And I, and I, and I, um, and I felt very powerful doing that. And uh, you know, I felt that the movement felt, felt very powerful. Uh, through what I was doing, and uh, if it wasn't for the support, I, I probably wouldn't have, couldn't have done it. Especially the last week was very tough for me. We're showing through action what kind of world we want to see. It's easy for somebody to say, "Well, we don't want wars, and we want more books, and we, we want we, we want food for all, housing for all." However, we've tried to like establish that community by using public space and building this culture and this community, and we need space for that. We can't do that without space. And we had that space for a short time at Liberty Square. We've, tri we've tried to show that at Union Square as well as actually sleeping on Wall Street. Um, so our, I think our goal uh, was and remains to this day to try to uh, build this community by using space. And uh, it's not that we can always go into a space and are going to be allowed to be there. 
Yeah, right now there are many political uh, prisoners in jail doing time like Hammond and others who have been part of like uh, our political prisoners. And it's important that, uh, you know, folks pick up a pen and paper the old fashioned way because that's really the only way you can write to prisoners. And um, and if you are going to say write to your f to your uh, so political prisoner that you are supporting, write a letter to them, but then write a second letter to somebody else who's doing time. And, um, you know, a lot of times, yes, we say, you know, write to political prisoners, but write to anybody because I've met many folks on the inside who don't get any letters. And it was hard for them to see me getting all these letters and somebody would like come and be like, can I read your letter? Because they aren't getting that support. They're being punished by a, by a system that, um, that is punishing them for some very minor offenses that shouldn't even be crimes to begin with. So I think it's an uphill battle for us, but it's an important battle to fight against the prison industrial complex. But meanwhile, uh, supporting uh, folks in there by just putting money into their commissary or, or just writing them letters, I think that's something that anybody at home can do. And y y there are letter writing campaigns for political prisoners that happen in all cities, especially in New York City. And uh, folks get together and do that, so please look it up. and. Um, and ask around and you will find uh, these communities that do that and take care of uh, political prisoners.